about 30,000 years ago, we know that there are bone needles. So we know that they're going to be sewing their clothes. And also um, there's probably some weaving as well. Most things that are made out of organic materials, and, and that means kind of anything that's made out of cloth or leather or wood um, or, or grasses, um, most of that will have will have rotted away and so we don't get it archaeologically so archaeologically we're just left with the hard things which might be things made of stone bone antler that kind of thing shells so we do have to do a bit of imagining but if we have for instance a, a burial where um, somebody has been laid in the grave and all that we've got then are the bones and then the hard objects that were buried with them we might be able to see for instance that there's maybe a row of of teeth that have been pierced to make them independence and they're kind of sitting up around the neck. So you think, okay, I haven't got the string that these were on, but that's clearly a necklace. Yeah. And the same with, um, you know, if there's lots of ivory beads in particular places, then maybe those were sewn onto clothes. We don't have any fabric, any woven fabric from that long ago, but there is this little imprint, which I think is from the Czech Republic. And it's from somebody who's knelt on a bit of mud, a bit of clay, and they were obviously wearing something which was woven cloth because you've got the imprint of the woven cloth. So even though we don't have the woven cloth and that hasn't survived, we've got an imprint of it. I love that, that there's these little clues.